Life in the Championship has started with Crystal Palace. The performances have been excellent. The results, uh, mixed. So following on from our opening day draw against Everton, we won 1-0 away from home against Brighton. It took a 91st minute winner after a complete domination of a match, but thankfully we got the three points. Next up was a 4-0 home win against Rotherham. Lee Rogers, Curtis Booth and Jacob Samuelson with a brace. We then got beat by West Brom in the League Cup first round again. A match, you just look at the match stats in every single game, bar maybe two. Uh, we've completely dominated, but we got beaten this one. Then a 1-0 away defeat against Fulham. Look at their match stats. Just look at them. Absolutely unbelievable result. We then went away from home against Leicester and drew 1-1. Samuelson puts in from one minute in, but uh, they equalised. Then had a man sent off. So we had 60 minutes with a one-man advantage and we could not make it pay. We then got beat again, this time at home against Bournemouth. The 30th minute goal for them in a game where we dominated. We then bounced back though with a 3-0 home win against Ipswich Town. David Fernandez and Jacob Samuelson with a brace. A 1-0 win away from home against Leeds United. It was a pretty even game this one. Could have went either way, but Jermaine Blanchard came on off the bench and got the only goal of the game. 2-0 at home against QPR, a very good win. Jacob Samuelson and Nacho Gonzalez with the goals in this one. Back-to-back -back defeats followed, the first of which was a 2-1 away defeat against Derby County. They were sitting top of the league at the time. Jacob Samuelson had put us in front 18 minutes in, but two goals in five minutes in the second half secured the points for Derby. 1-0 away defeat against Millwall, and this was the one game where we, got pl we were completely dominated. Millwall fully deserved their three points, and uh, we weren't at the races for whatever reason. We did bounce back though, Oscar Remberg gave us a 1-0 win at home against Sunderland. A 4-0 home win against Peterborough followed that, they went down to 10 men 67 minutes in, but we were already 4 up by that point. A one all draw away from home against Coventry, a pretty even game this, David Fernandez had put us in front just before half time, but an 81st minute equaliser from Geraldo Bejrami gave the spoils, made sure the spoils were shared. And finally was a 2-1 away win against Portsmouth. David Fernandez and Calvin Sulkin getting the two goals for us. They got a 92nd minute uh, consolation goal. But it did mean a nervy last few minutes. And that sees the Skybet Championship table looking like this. We currently sit in 7th. We are one point outside of the playoffs. We do have uh, one game in hand against everybody and two games in hand against some. The top... 7, 8, 9, 10 are pretty compact. There's only, uh, what, 11 points between Derby and Burnley, so currently sitting in 10th. So uh, it's pretty tight at the top. And even though we're not sitting in the automatic promotion spots right now, or the playoffs for that matter, I'm not too concerned. Which takes us to today where we have back-to-back -back home games. First of which is against Reading, who are sitting in mid-table. And then against our former club, Barnsley. So it is still pretty early days in terms of the squad. I am still getting used to it and trying to find our best starting to 11. So this is how we're going to start with today. Baker will start in goal. Matheson, Fernandez, Nikolic and Saki Denley will start at left back. Gonzalez has been an absolute superstar in defensive midfield for us. Uh, we signed him for a cheap fee from Real Madrid and he's been great. Salkin hasn't got as much game time as I should be giving him. A young English lad with potential should always take priority in our starting 11. So he's starting in the centre of midfield today. Renberg, Booth, Leroux is our attack on midfielders with Samuelson, of course, leading the line. Now we're relying pretty heavily on Jacob Samuelson. He's only got 8 goals in 15 games, which isn't too bad, but it isn't fantastic. He's one of the very few players who actually scores goals with us at present. Scoring goals has been a real, real issue with this squad so far this season. I need to find the right combination in the tactics to be able to unlock the attack and potential. Look how deep they are. Are they playing a strikerless formation? They are. I have never, ever seen this by the AI. I, I don't think anywhere. I, I am literally flabbergasted. That is something new. <laughs> so uh, we might end up having a difficult time breaking down Redden. They are sitting very, very deep. Rafinha, I'm assuming, is playing in the centre of midfield. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Let's get into the game. First highlight of the game comes a couple of minutes in. It's Reading, who are on the attack down the left-hand side with Turney. Plays it back to Rodriguez. Matheson does very well to hold him up and win the ball back. We've played it about nicely between the defensive midfield and we're finally making some attacking threats. Saki Denley coming down this left-hand side. Cuts in Leroux to Salkin. Shoots, it's blocked. It shoots again. 
and Calvin Salkin gets his second goal of the season and it is an absolute beauty, my son. This is why I need to be playing him. 19-year-old English lad pulling that out of the locker. It's absolutely fantastic and, oh, goal of the season, without a doubt. 14 minutes in, can Redden get themselves back into it uh, quickly? Rafinha, his third goal of the season. I mean, uh, <laughs> how well they didn't last very long. And uh, the, I'm so used to a highlight taking maybe 30, 40 seconds, a minute in game. That took 10 seconds. Renberg with a free kick for us, 21 minutes in. Back post to Salkin. It's headed into the keeper's arms. Another highlight now. Salkin on the left-hand side. Plays it back to Nikolic. And our defence can start the attack down the right-hand side with Luke Matheson. He tries to whip it in. Please don't let Renden counter. They are playing the counter, so it wouldn't be that much of a shock. But... Uh, we get it through to Saki Denley on the left-hand side. He whips it in. Renberg down to Booth. It's blocked. Heroic defending by the Redden uh, centre-half, sir. Redden with a free kick. 30 minutes in. Turner is the man stepping over it. It went well wide. We were never worried, really. So this game is following a similar theme to pretty much all the others. If you look at the match stats, you would see we are completely dominating. But when you see the highlights, we've had a couple each. Um, a good couple of opportunities each. But we should obviously be doing much, much better with those kind of stats. Let's hope we can kick it into gear in the second half. First highlight of the second half comes 51 minutes in. It's us on the attack down the left-hand side. Samuelson picks it up. Goes for goal. Jacob. What a goal. Jacob's have. Maybe that's all we score. We just score wonder goals. That's the only way we can <laughs> we can score. So Jacob Samuelson with his ninth goal of the season. Saki Denley with the assist. And it's a great turn. Great strike. Top bins. I mean... Hopefully we win this game from this point. We are going to go to a balanced team mentality. Um, not give them any opportunities to counter. So with 15 minutes to go, we are still 2-1 up. We will look to make some changes. Killian Adam can come on for Oscar Renberg on that right-hand side. Nikolic can come off for Corneo. And uh, we'll save our last sub just in case. Highlight now, free kick. We do manage to get a clear. Salkin is going to break for us with only 13 minutes left on the clock. He plays in Jacob Samuelson. He had a lot to do there. He probably could have took, afforded to take a little bit more time, waiting for some more support, but yeah, never mind. Four minutes left. Don't give the ball away and do not let Reading counter Booth. Plays it in Samuelson. Can't get his head on or it's clear to Gonzalez who finds Matheson. He does well to keep the ball in play to Killian Adam. Back to Matheson. He's in the box. He's, going to, he's not shooting. He decides to cross and Reading get it clear. Fernandez keeps it alive. Matheson. Down to Gonzalez. He whips it in. Samuelson's there. He's offside. We all knew that. And time is ticking away. We will make our final sub now. Saki Denley can come off for Oliver Norwood. Eh, uh, Kirkwood. Norwood. <laughs> there we have it then. Crystal Palace 2, Redden 1. Another game where we've dominated. Not really that convincing of a scoreline. But it's three points. That's what we need. Third place, Barnsley's coming up next. So I will see you there. So no changes from the side who won against Reading. We are against our former club, Barnsley. They have absolutely zero players from our time there. It was an awful long time ago. One player they do still have, though, is Pasquale Franke, who is very, very good and should be banging the goals in in the championship. He's worth £43 million. He's wanted by Southampton. Is there any other names I recognise here? Uh, Jorge Flores, our former man from Leeds United, who then moved to uh, Barnsley after getting relegated with Leeds. He got relegated with Barnsley, and he is a phenomenal centre-half to have in this division. So it's going to be very difficult to get a win in today's game. Barnsley's side are probably better than ours, uh, man for man, but we are at home. We're in good form. I think we've won four on the bounce now, or maybe drew one in there or something like that. But we're, we're undefeated in at least five games. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. First highlight of the game, we have to wait 30 minutes for it to come. But it's Matheson down the right hand side for us. Finds Jacob Samuelson with an absolutely great cross. And I tell you what, Luke Matheson at right back, he's 28. So he's not the huge, he was on the chopping block in the summer, I'll not lie to you. He has been absolutely phenomenal. One of our best creative attacking players. Our wingers haven't really contributed that much. Matheson has been one of the main guys we've relied on. And Samuelson gets his 10th of the season. So interestingly, Barnsley are playing a defensive team mentality. And I, I understand they're away from home. But they are one of the best sides in this league. They need to be going for it. They need to be pushing. Um, and they're not really pushing for it. So half-time, 1-0. Uh, we will have to take off Oscar Renberg. We'll bring on Killian Adam. 
uh, to play on that right hand side. Thankfully, we're playing inverted wingers, so uh, Killian Adam playing on the right is actually natural for him, even though he's not natural in that position. Now, for the second half, they have moved to a balanced team mentality. Why they weren't doing that from the very beginning to at least give themselves some attack and impetus with some of the fantastic players they've got, I have no idea. Oh my dears, they have just brought on Christopher Daniel. Look at the state of him for the championship. He is absolutely unbelievable. We have ourselves a highlight. We have ourselves a goal. Killian Adam with the corner. Jacob Samuelson. I tell you what, if it wasn't for him, we would be scoring absolutely zero goals. His 11th of the season. And uh, we're cruising here. Much better than we were against Redden. We are going to move to a positive team mentality uh, after that second goal. Just, you know, look to keep possession. Try and uh, see the rest of this game out. There is a highlight straight from kickoff. So uh, hopefully it's not for Barnsley and hopefully we can win the ball here and counter. We do win the ball and we feed it to Killian Adam on this right hand side who finds Samuelson going down the line. Uh, some nice play by Matheson and Adam. Uh, I mean, a little bit of a poor touch there but we'll, we'll not comment on that too much. Gonzalez, back to Salkin. Come on boys. Uh, we're looking pretty static right now but we do find Matheson on the right who finds Samuelson. And Samuelson gets his second goal in two minutes. His third goal of the game. And his 12th goal of this season. This boy, <laughs> this boy is having to carry the weight of a full, full 11 on his back. And he's doing so quite, quite handedly. Um, he's definitely, he started the season pretty slow. He's definitely getting more and more involved in the play. And Matheson gets his second uh, assist of the game. We will look to make a couple of subs. Uh, Saki Denley can come off for Oliver Kirkwood. Lee Rogers can come on for Curtis Booth. And, uh... 3-0 against one of the best sides in the league. I know it's at home, but look at the match stats. We're completely dominated and we've thoroughly, thoroughly deserved the three points. They have went very attacking for about time, but it's not going to make a blind bit of difference. Crystal Palace 3, Barnsley 0. Absolutely delighted with our performance. And there we have it, boys. Just like that, we move ourselves up to fourth in the league table with two games in hand on West Brom above us. Only one game in hand on the other two, though. Uh, so it looks like Millwall and Fulham are going to be the main contenders for automatic promotion this season. We've got a lot of work to do in terms of our results. Uh, we're getting close to the halfway point in the season. It'll not be long until we've played, well, there's only six more games until we've played the 23. We want to be in the conversation at that point, I think. So the next six games are absolutely crucial for us to be able to push on and look to get automatic promotion. In terms of the next episode then, we are going to come back for one more episode before the January transfer window. It will be this Leicester and Rotherham game. We need to keep an eye on how we're doing. There's a good 10 games or so in between then and uh, the next episode. So we need to, hopefully, by that point, we're in and around the conversation for second place and well cemented as a playoff team. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed but until next time take it easy